Brenna, you were great. Thank I you. really like your speech and your performance. Uh, uh, I have several questions to sure. you. Mm -hmm. What uh, did you learn from Estonian society? And um, what, so <laughs> what, what uh, uh, you cannot accept? What I cannot accept? Yes, here. Uh, Close-mindedness. You know the blinkers are on, like the like the like the horse. You know that car carries the chariot around. Okay, horse society. All, okay. Around the, the old town, some of those people got these on. You know, and okay, yeah, we all come from different places, and we all have our set rooted. You know, we have our rooted beliefs, and we have our rooted um, uh, philosophies in life, and not, not only this, but I think our roots of how we've grown up. Right? And we have our way of thinking, but at the same time, like the world is evolving, it's moving all the time, whether we like it or not. You see all the climate changes, you see tornadoes, happen they're happening on a clockwork effect. So why are we like stood like this? Do you know what I mean? It's like we need to be also evolving, evolve and, that, and we can't do that if we're stuck in the same place. Or well, not, not just physically, I just mean in your head, you know? So I try to talk with people and get them to just open their horizon and then they make the judgment call. But yeah, I, I just cannot accept this rigidness, you know? It's time to take the blinkers off, yeah? Do you feel yourself here as a part of uh, the society or you feel yourself like a, a stranger, foreigner? Or you feel like Estonian? Well, no, I'm definitely not Estonian. I, I would, I'm a resident here. Um, I always think I'm going to be foreign, just purely, first of all, my appearance. My look is exotic, as people say, and uh, that's all cool, but um, I think I do have a mixture of friends from here. I have Estonian friends, I have Russian friends, I have Ukrainian friends, I have all kinds. Um, people that I know and like and love and Spanish people here, Brazilians, and I think what I do is I just integrate, you know, I try to keep everybody integrated. And we run this Reggae Sunday Chill Out, I don't know if you've heard about it, Telling 24 EE just done a coverage, so shout that out. But, um, Everybody comes there to the beach and just lets go and relaxes and chills and listens to reggae music, you know, in Estonia. That happens. And there's people from England, America, Brazil, as I said, all around the world, all come to one place and they're all jamming together. You see the videos, you know. And that's beautiful and I always will advocate that. I'll always advocate equality and unity and everybody just working together. We can all think different things. We can all come from different places. And that's what's so beautiful because that way we all have something to give, you know. And that's what makes the place colourful. So, absolutely, that's what I try to do. How can you comment these okay. words, yes, of a conservative politician? Yeah. If you are black, go back. Oh, wow. Uh, if you're, but go back where? You understand? If you're going to say that statement, make sure you have the follow-up answer because you have to understand that black people existed everywhere in the world, really. Um, not just in Africa. You know, there are places in America where there are native black native Indians as well as the native Indians all coexisting as different tribes. Okay, so we all come from, I, my family, my bloodline has different tribes. I don't even know what my tribe is. So to say someone, if you're black, go back, you're pilgrimage. Let's go back to pilgrims. Where did they come from? When they immigrated to America, when Christopher Columbus discovered America, where did they come from? They're not from that homeland, some of them are not. Some of them are plantation owners still generations down who have families who have inherited money and inherited land. All fine and dandy, but you have to remember that's not your place either. So where do you go back to? If you're going to say send the blacks back, where do, where do we send everybody else that's not originated? You know, this skin colour has nothing to do with where you're from. It's the pigmentation, it's called melanin. Everybody has it, just we have a lot more of it, you know? So, and if you think about where melanin comes from, right, if you do your history, you'll know that everybody's got a piece of Africa in them at some point. So, if you're sending blacks back, you have to think about where you're going back to. That's what I want to that. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Uh, how should we uh, react on uh, racist uh, remarks? Don't react. Don't react. I think, um, like I said, I hear it on a daily basis here. There are outright racial slurs, um, fascist people. I've, 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 I've come up against them face to face, as you've read in my articles. 
and it's a dangerous situation. All you can do, and I've actually learned, you know, how to defend myself. Um, but uh, at the end of the day, you can't walk around with this aggression. You can't walk around with everybody after me. I've done that, and it, and it just draws more of a team. It really does. And you know, I've done the whole reacting thing. I mean, I've heard someone say the N word, you know, in my presence, knowing I'm going to hear it, knowing I could possibly maybe offended. But you know, my father said to me, he said, just stop, stop letting it affect you. Stop letting them rule your world. Because when you let them rule your world, it, it, it just succumbs you, and you don't end up doing what you're meant to do. You know, let those people be. Let them. You're never going to change people's minds. Everybody has an opinion. They're always going to have it, whether they say it aloud or not. You know, at the end of the day, don't even um, don't even think of it as relating to you. It doesn't relate to me. What does it mean? You know. So I started to really think about this, and I really am practicing how not to react to this and just remain positive because it doesn't relate to me actually. So yeah. What about Estonian language? Is it a big problem uh, for you not to know Estonian language to contact with people and to have friends and to live here? No, because everybody speaks English. They just don't want to or also because I think it's such a complex language, it's universal. Uh, there's so many vocabulary, you know, it's very difficult to say, okay, I want to just uh, express myself and I want the person to understand me. I know it's difficult because I've tried to learn Estonian and I'm still trying to learn Russian, Spanish, Italian, French and I just try to get at least the basics, at least the hello because that always opens people up <gasps> when I go in the shop, you know, I, I converse a little bit when I say converse, I mean I literally just say Tere, Kudas, Lab and Karaisi and Aita, you know and I know how to, how to react to what they're saying to me so I can understand, you know I think the best thing to do is just have an opening, you know, like they call it icebreaker, you know, find a common ground and uh, they will eventually open up. It's just a long time to warm up, this is a cold country, but I think they will find a way to open up to you, yeah. And you work as an English uh, language teacher? No, 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 everybody thinks that, but no, I, I actually, because um, I studied all subjects, I had to learn education studies, not just the subjects, but the history, the philosophy, and everything. And I felt like uh, I could do English language, I have done it uh, privately, but um, I uh, definitely just teach generally. Um, In English? It, yeah. And they, Estonian uh, children? It's international uh, school yeah. actually, oh, okay. but I do uh, work with Estonian children as well then, so I'm, uh, I'm doing part time, but I am a vocal coach as well, so I do vocal coaching with people from everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think they wanted to take some pictures. Th thank you so much. Thank you. Wish you all the best here. Thank you very much. success. Namaste. <laughs>